range and today we're just going to do a quick little video we just did a series of videos where i had to send my high point carbine back to high point they ended up putting a new barrel on this i also cracked the high tower armory stock in half on this and i had to send the lower back and they sent me a new stock go back and watch those videos if you're interested uh customer service was freaking amazing with with both companies can't complain there but I've had a lot of people asking me, what the hell is this thing? So uh, let's start out here on the top. We do have the Ghost Magnifier by Monstrum. This is a three power magnifier. And we are also running the Ghost Red Dot on this. Really cool little setup, flips to the side. I have reviewed both of these on the channel. If you guys wanna go back and check them out, but uh, this is one of my favorite red dot magnifier combinations. Got it sitting back pretty far because of the eye relief. Magnifiers don't have the greatest eye relief, but where it's sitting right now is about perfect. Now we go out here to the front. We got a shroud on this. Kind of works as a muzzle brake compensator type thing. Plus it just looks cool and it's made for this stock. This was actually from JS Arms Company. And uh, that's where that came from. Up here in the front, we got a Magpul angled foregrip. And I really like that. I can wrap my thumb right around the charging handle here. Put my finger out here in the front and it's just awesome. Like having that out there on the front. It is a 10 millimeter carbine. If you haven't watched the videos before this, the stock on this is from Hightower Armory. It is a bullpup stock. It doesn't change length of the barrel or anything like that, but it does shorten things up quite a bit, as you can see. Now, the trigger in it is absolutely awful. And uh, we've talked about that, but I'll kind of show you here. Got all that take up and pretty nasty break too. Bull pups do not have the best triggers especially with this one because the way it works from here you got a rod running all the way to the back to the regular trigger that rod's working back and forth inside the chassis so this is definitely not a precision shooting carbine that is for sure now the magazines on it they load here in the back and to drop the magazines you've got a lever right here and you just push that forward and they fall right out nice and freely pretty convenient that is just about everything that's been done to this it's a uh, a lot of fun to shoot and it definitely gets some looks and a lot of people ask me about it when they see this at the range they want to know what in the hell this thing is now if you want a really good trigger and you're thinking about this well I'm telling you right now, you're gonna hate the trigger in it, but it is what it is. It's a fun toy to play with, and it also makes your cheap high point carbines very expensive by the time you get it set up this way. But I like it. I've had it for a long time, and I've enjoyed it. My son loves shooting it. It's just a really cool gun. I'll roll in some footage of me shooting this, and uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.